Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use Web View to create a very simple web browser for um, Android phone. Here is my browser. It is load up um, Google homepage automatically. And from here I can uh, browse the web. So I can I, I I want to search for some picture from the Occupy World Street. And click on the image tab and it will turn me the photos I can click on it to see it and go back and keep clicking we can go back okay let's dive in so open Eclipse create a new Android project name it hello web view Choose the target to be 2.2. Let's retype the um, application name. The package name will be my name and the, the project name. Click finished. Let's go to uh, fix the layout. So resource folder, layout folder, the main layout. We will make this to be our uh, web view and instead of the orientation properties we will change that to be ID so that we can use later in our project. So let's call it web view. So what it means is um, we will use the whole the whole area of the display to be our web view. After finish that, we can go to the activity. In here, let's first create our uh, private web view. Let's uh, call it my web view. And we need to import that from the Android WebKit. In order to use that, we uh, will assign that to to the web view that we create in the layout. We do this by calling the method find view my ID, and so we have resource dot ID dot web view. And next thing we need to do is to um, to turn on the JavaScript for our web browser. So set JavaScript enable to be true, and then we will load our home page from there, which is uh, the Google website. So let's do HTTP. Web.google.com. After finish this, we need to ask for the user permission to use the internet connection because that is one of the special uh, permission we need to ask from the user. Open the Android Manifest XML and go to the XML coding. And uh, in in the end of the file, before the closing tab for the XML, the closing tab for XML, let's uh, let's put in our permission. So we ask for the internet connection. So let's search in here for that internet right here. And what we can do is we close that. So this will um, allow us to use the internet with the user consent. Also in here, I want to change the themes for our activity. So we only have one activity for now, and that is our main activity. Uh, and I want to 
make the theme to change the theme to get rid of the, the title so we have more more space for our website so um, Android style theme no title bar and uh, we can try to run the test from here let's hit run it will, it will install and open the application first so here we go Google is load up you can try to find the same thing find some picture of Occupy World Street scroll down and click on the image tab what happened here is um, that call got handled by the Android browser so you see that we we're not in our application anymore we are now in the Android browser and it's handled the URL request for us but that's not what we want we want to handle it in our activity in our application itself so in order to do that we need to uh, create a class that extend the web content view or actually uh, is the, the class web view client and and have that to uh, have that to call our web view to handle the load URL or the URL request so let's create a class so private class name it hello web view client now that will extend the web view client we need to import this from the web kit and uh, inside this class we only need to um, override one method override public boolean should override URL loaded and this method will check into two parameters the web view and the URL string URL and uh, we're just gonna load the URL which is we're gonna handle it by ourselves and we return to and in here we will set the we will set the web view client to be to be this class so let's create a new instance of it so hello web view client now this would assure that we will handle the URL request in our web view but we need to also handle the uh, the back button you have to use it click it so we need to override the method on key down but click boolean on key down in key code and key event Event, and we need to import this from the Android view. Let's uh, let's implement this one. So we need to check if the if the key code is equal to the back key. So and the back key value will be key code back. So, so if the user hit the back key and we will check our web view to see if we can go back if they are they're both true then we will go back and we will turn to 
if um, the condition is not true then we're not going to handle that but instead we will call the super method to handle this on key down for us and that is everything let's try to run it we installing and opening start activity okay let's search for the same thing so we have some consistency on it let's scroll down hit enter and scroll down scroll down or actually scroll up okay. click on image image and here will be some photos for us and you see that there's no more no more loading in the Android browser. It is it all it all happened within our activity, within our application. So I can click on the same photos again and I can go back and I can click on that photo again and I can go back and it works out nicely. So that's everything for today. The web view is really the main um, the main part that running the web browser for us. So thank you everyone for watching and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave it um, below. Thank you very much.